What's going on guys? So today, I'm going to be doing a little product review. Um, we're going to be looking at a flashlight. I'm going to start trying to make this a thing where every Friday I drop a review on a, a product review. Um, varying from like, you know, tools, uh, camping gear, um, hunting gear, fishing gear, whatever. Um, every Friday, I think at like 5.30 at this point. My last video was uh, on the knife sharpener, but I didn't really, that was kind of like my first first thing. So look forward to that. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Um, show your support, you know, um, you know, instructive criticism even. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Today, we're gonna be looking at the 2020 Streamlight Stinger. This, like I said, came out in 2020. It might have come out late 2019, I'm not sure. I didn't buy it in 2020. Uh, I bought it this year. It is a little over seven and a half inches long. It weighs less than a pound. I think it's like 12 ounces. Um, 12.6 or 12.7 ounces. Um, it doesn't have, like, as far as I know, it, they don't have, like, um, belt holsters for them, essentially. It's got three modes, low, medium, and high, and you can choose those right there. Um, it's got two on, on buttons, one right here, one at the bottom, where if you're holding it like this, you can, or typical side, like if you're out in the woods. And I got, came with the, like wall, like a regular wall charger and a car charger. All together, that'll run you about $150. Um, I've taken this same camping and I love it. This is my favorite knife of all time. Uh, it, the way it's designed, it has this flat stock here. It's where it won't roll like you set it down, it'll stay. Um, Whereas you guys know, or may may not know, the older Stingers and the Stryons, they're like rounded. So, you know, if you set it on a ledge and it's got a grade, it'll just roll right off. So I really like this design. It's got textured here on both sides. Um, this is the, where the charger will like where where it'll rest on the charger um, and make contact to charge. Like I said, low, medium, high, and I'll get you guys over here to take a closer look at it. All right, here's a closer look at it. Sorry, I'm not a hand model. Um, here's the rough edges, as I was talking about, and the flat, so it stays still. Um, charging point, charging points. Uh, low, medium, and high. Um, on low, the battery will last. It's the online. It says 24 hours. Take that with a grain of salt. On high, it'll run for two hours. Um, I can honestly say, real quick, here's the bottom switch on power the like side or top I don't know what you really want to call it um I've taken this camping I bought it for work um as a mechanic um but I just I like using it for everything it is so bright it has 2,000 lumens on high I'm not sure what the lower medium is but it has up to 2,000 lumens um I've taken it camping like even out in pitch black, I have it on low or medium. You, know, you don't need it on high because of how bright it is. Now on, on high, like you'll, it's like having the headlights on on your car, if, if not brighter. <coughs> but low or medium will, it does just fine. 
missing little LED in there. Uh, it's durable. As you can see, I've you know, got some scuffs on it, but it's, you know, it hasn't cracked, broken, anything like that. Um, I've dropped it on dirt, you know, dirt, rocks, concrete, whatever. Um, it's really great um, for looking at stuff um, on equipment, which is what I do, or, you know, regular auto mechanic. Um, it, it's just overall a great flashlight. I would, you know, buy it again if I, if I could, um, if I could. I'm not gonna waste my money buying another one because I already have one and I know where it's at. I, you know, obviously try to keep it in a safe, split, safe space so you don't lose it. Um, but durability, I give it like a 10 out of 10. Brightness, 10 out of 10. Um, overall, it's a fantastic fl flashlight for $150. Um, the I didn't have any experience with the other model Stinger, but I had a Stryon, which is like the step down, and it was awesome. I loved it. I had a little bolt hold or a belt holster for it, so I would just carry it on my side. This you really can't, um, which is what it is. You know, it is bulky, so I mean, if you're wearing baggy work pants, you can put it in your pocket. You know. That's it's your preference, um, but I use you know I leave it on the toolbox and I'll have like a little pen flashlight that I use. But th I mean, if you want to see a mile away, use this one. It's fantastic. It's great. Um, I think without the chargers, it'll run like one hundred twenty dollars. Um, but I got the chargers. Obviously, uh, it has the like I said the charger for where you can plug into a car and. It has one you where you can use it for your your regular house outlet. Um, I'm not really sure how long it, it doesn't take too long to charge. Um, like I said, when it does, you have two hours on high, 24 on low. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, other than that, I think you know. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10 just because of how awesome it is and how much I like it. I haven't used Olights before, but I hear they're pretty good as well. Um, you know, this is just a review on the Streamlight, so that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're in the market, you know, the price is kind of high on these, on the Streamlights, but you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, I think the Streamlights, I, or Olights, they were relatively cheap, but now I think they're starting to get up there in price as well. Um, but the Streamlight Stinger, 2020 I highly recommend I love that it's got the flat at first I was like I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the flat edges because I'm used to round flashlights but I mean you set it down on a bench while you're camping on a picnic table whatever you don't have to worry about it rolling off it's just nice not to have to worry about it uh, especially you know if you're working on something set it down on a truck tire you know as long as you have it placed on there right, it's not going to roll off. You know, they, they were thinking good when they actually did this, made this. Um, I think that's pretty much, I think I've covered it all. Like I said, it's about seven and a half inches long. It weighs about 12.6 or 12.7 ounces, so less than a pound. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably pistol up somebody with it. Um, yeah, like I said, every Friday, check in, 5.30, uh, we call it Friday Night Reviews, uh, make sure you, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, take care, have a great day.